This is Alan with the Growing Network. Welcome. Today on tap, elk jerky. We're going to be using our Weston dehydrator along with some jerky gold. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have about a pound worth of sirloin from an elk. We're going to go ahead and thinly slice this up into jerky strips. I place this in the freezer for about an hour so it firms up and allows the uh, meat to be you know, firm as we're slicing it. You know, taking a sharp knife. Again, tuck your fingers. We're going to go ahead and let the knife do the work. Just make sure that when you're doing this, that you get yourself some nice, you know, quarter inch thick slices. The reason why we use elk is it's a very lean piece of meat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera. As you see here, we have our elk jerky thinly sliced. We're gonna go ahead and place this into a vacuum sealed bag. You can definitely use a Ziploc bag, but we're gonna go ahead and accelerate the marinating process by using, you know, a vacuum seal bag. Go ahead and toss this in. The beauty of using a chamber sealer or a vacuum sealer is that it accelerates and you also don't have to use enough or as much of the marinade. So this is Jerky Gold. This is one phenomenal marinade. I've used it before and have other videos showing that. You know, salmon, you can use it for burgers. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good shake. Probably shouldn't do this, but we'll go ahead and break the seal. Wow, that smells phenomenal, guys. Probably gonna pour about half of the bottle in. We went ahead and vacuum sealed our elk with some jerky gold marinade. You don't have to do this step. You can definitely use Ziploc bags, but you're looking at 12 to 24 hours when you do that. If you vacuum seal, it infuses the marinade into the, you know, whatever meat you're using and you're looking about one to two hours. To me, saving time is crucial, more jerky. So we're using our Weston 10 rack uh, dehydrator. They also have a smaller version, which is a six rack. We are preheated this up to 155 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna place our jerky into the refrigerator for about one to two hours. We've been marinating for two hours. Let's go ahead and break the seal. I went ahead and pulled a couple trays off to get started. The idea is to space your meat out so that it gets enough air circling around it. Wow, this marinade smells phenomenal. As you can see here, the marinade's penetrated through the meat. We're gonna go ahead and cook or dehydrate our jerky for two to four hours. Obviously, it depends on how well you like your, or how tough you like your jerky. I like it, you know, like a medium, so I'm probably gonna go for more like three hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off camera place the trays inside the dehydrator and we'll see you back soon. It's been roughly two and a half hours. Let's go ahead and take a peek. As you see here, it's still very pliable. So the jerky is not quite done. We're gonna let this go for another, another hour. At that time, we'll go ahead and pull it off and meet you inside for the taste test. We've went ahead and removed the jerky from our Weston dehydrator. As you see, it's not as pliable as it was before. This jerky is done. Now for the taste test. Wow, that tasted absolutely phenomenal. The jerky gold marinade took this to another level. You definitely don't have to use it just for elk. You can use it for beef, hamburgers. I've used it on salmon. Make sure you guys check them out. Give them a thumbs up and uh, tell them I sent you. The Western Food De Dehydrator made this job quite simple. You know, there's several dehydrators out there, but nothing like the Weston. 
Make sure you guys also check them out. You know, you won't be disappointed. This is Alan with the Growing Network. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.